Hey everyone, welcome back to Element a Day in May 2018. This is my last day and I have a confession. This is the second time that I am recording this video for today because I just put away my lights and my camera and my microphone and everything and I uploaded everything to Adobe Premiere and I had a huge thing in my tooth and I thought, oh gosh, I really can't use that. And so I took out my phone and I'm in my kitchen and here I am because the show must go on. Today's element is polonium and I picked polonium because it has a few allotropes. It has an alpha and a beta and the crystalline structure of polonium, it's usually a cube, it, that's the alpha. It's this cubic structure so all the atoms are lined up in a little bit of this cubic thing but there's a beta version of it, which is a rhombohedral shape. So if you're her cube and then you see the rhombohedral, it just kind of goes like Meh. So that's why I picked polonium. And polonium is named after the country of Poland because that's where Marie Curie is from. And she is the one who originally discovered polonium amongst many other elements. She was an awesome lady. Polonium has many different uses. It is a metal, it is radioactive, and it can be used um, not by itself, but in different devices to uh, take dust off of um, film strips or you can use it to reduce the static from your clothes. And I also read an article about it and it was famously used as a poison to poison some famous guy back in the day. That is a little bit about polonium. That is May 31st, 2018, the very last element a day in May for this year. And maybe, maybe for many years, I'm not, I'm not sure. And we'll see what happens next year. It's always a little bit up in the air whether or not I'm gonna be able to do this series, but we'll see. Thank you so much to all of the people who have guest hosted over the years on this video. I could not have done it without you and the people who helped me this year with the green screen and Eric for the amazing jingle that we have at the end of the video that's been fun over the years to use. Follow me on Jesse Science if you're interested in keeping in touch with me and finding out what other stuff I'm doing. I don't always put stuff on this channel, Everyday Science, so if you're interested in the other science projects and videos that I have going on, check out at Jesse Science on Twitter. I am at, at Everyday Sci TV on Twitter as well. And I hope to see you guys around and I hope to have more science videos for you guys soon, whether it's here or on other places. Who knows? Bye. Element a day in May.